Hey guys, it is Saturday afternoon here in West Virginia, and Ethan and I are doing a Monster Jam Saturday Spectacular. We have a bunch to unbox for you, as you can see here. We have about four single packs, one double pack, then we have a ton of open ones to show you guys that we've unboxed on our own over the past few weeks since we've been here. We even have some little guys to show you that we found at the dollar store, Dollar Tree and Family Dollar, and they're actually Mattel issue too. Pretty cool. And we got those. This looks like daddy and baby there, kind of like father and son, like me and Ethan, right, Ethan? Why? Say hi, Ethan. Hi. All right. So then we also have the monster truck hauler from Hot Wheels, and we also brought out a couple 124s to show you the difference in some of the 124s that they're making. So we have. The hauler is full, so I think we have like 30 different monster trucks, maybe even a little more than that to show you guys. And one little unique one that I found at a mall in the Philippines right before we left. I bought that for Ethan, and we'll go over that when we get to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with unboxing some of these. Ethan already got a jump on it and started unboxing one of them. Even before we left Walmart, he had this thing ripped apart. So I kind of taped it back together. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is a uh, Hot Wheels Monster Truck Taxi. And it's got the checkered taxi on the side and also on the side walls. Instead of white walls, it's got checkered walls. So pretty cool. And it comes with one of those connect cars, but it did not make it back in the package. I forgot to put that in there before I taped it back. And these are some of the latest ones. We've got a few of these to unbox. Uh, we got the Bigfoot. We got the tie-dye beach drag bus. And uh, we would have bought SpongeBob, but we couldn't find him. They did have some of the color tired ones, but I don't think they had the shark. They had the Grave Digger with the green tires, but I'm not a big fan of the color tires. I don't think Ethan is either. He always wants the ones with the black tires, so we did not get any color tire ones. But we do have a couple to give you an example of in a little bit. So let's get this guy ripped back open and look at him, Ethan. So I'm going to let Ethan do the honors here. Here you go, buddy. Here, we'll just, yeah, there you go. Rip him open. All right, no need to say the packages on those because they're definitely not going to go back. Thank you. So, here's that cool checkered tire look. Pretty cool. And uh, it does have the raised letters on the tires here. I think it just says Hot Wheels, maybe. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it says. But anyways, yeah, it's pretty cool truck. Looks like it's based on like a Ford Excursion or Expedition, something like that. So, really cool one. That is one of the newer releases. Then, next is the Bigfoot that came in that series. And I do like the blue bead locks. That is pretty cool with the white wheels. Paint job is pretty cool. It's kind of like a Spectre Flame blue, it looks like. And once again, on the back of the package, it shows you the same ones. But we do have some different ones. So, a uh, different series. So, we'll show those to you next. Um... So, let's get him ripped out, too. There you go, buddy. Rip him open, too. There you go. That one hasn't been opened yet, so I'll help you out. There you go. Yeah. Be strong. Yeah, we're going to take probably some of these out in the snow today. We got quite a bit of snow last night, so uh, that's what... Here, let me give you a hand. That's what we're going to enjoy this afternoon. We are outside already. And... Water truck. Yeah, that's Bigfoot. Can you say Bigfoot? Yeah, so this is a connect car that they gave you in the first one that I didn't put back in the package. This is the one from Bigfoot. So these kind of just kind of interlock together, and I guess you can smash them. I'm not a big fan of these. I like the crushable cars that they had before, and even now the crushable cars have become rubber. They're not like they used to be where they were the plastic ones that you fold and then you actually crush them flat now they're like rubber and really bouncy um so here's actually let me show you guys so we can go over that what used to come with them or these guys here maybe back a couple years ago maybe you'll still see the appearance of them occasionally i don't know though 
Um, as I said, the Connect cars I've never been a fan of. Those have been around for a little while, too. We do have a couple of them from the past. These I like, but they do wear out. After a while, as you can see, it's kind of getting white on the foldable edges where eventually it will break. I think that's probably why they went to the rubberized ones. But I do like these ones because when you do run them over, it's kind of a little more realistic. They get smashed flat, so pretty cool. Uh, the rubber ones, um, I don't know where the one rubber one is that we have. Uh, I would show you guys, but I have no idea what happened to him. Yeah, just kind of briefly looking over Ethan's toys, and I do not see it where I can get to it really quickly and easily, so we're not going to worry about it. So, give me the Bigfoot so I can show these guys. So, here's your Bigfoot. Pretty cool livery. Bigfoot Hot Wheels in the roof. 74, 68. On the hood, I'm taking it, that's the rear of the truck. 74, 68, indicating the year Hot Wheels started. I believe that's what it would be indicating, but I'm not 100% sure. And then it has your co-sponsor logo is Monster Truck Summit Racing, Firestone, and I'm not sure. I can't even see that, to be honest with you guys. My eyes are not what they used to be. And you got some really cool livery on this one. I do like it. The orange and blue, the orange or the blue beadlocks, Hot Wheels raised black letters and the black wall tires pretty cool so next is the one that i like the most this is new for 2022 and this is your fast and furious license dodge charger rt so this is dom's charger but what i like is check out the wheels and tires the real skinny front runners and the big fat slicks on the back this is a really cool monster truck i guess i don't know yeah you like this one it's a yeah it's a mopar yeah and on the back of this one they show you some pretty cool yeah these are pretty cool we did see this school bus that one we were thinking about getting but we didn't they had this open like dairy delivery they call it one bad scoop i guess is based for an ice cream truck um yeah and then they had the snake but yeah, we only had so much money to work with. We would have bought a bunch more, probably. But we just was running out of money. They had some really cool two-packs, too, with Dracula and the Werewolf, Frankenstein, and I think Swamp Thing. They are just really cool. Really cool? Yeah, they were, weren't they? So, let's get this charger out and look at him. Here, Ethan, you do the honors and rip this bad boy out. They've been doing a lot of the movie licensing stuff. Uh, while he's ripping open the charger, I'll show you another one. We were supposed to unbox this one for you guys a while back, but we didn't. This is your Back to the Future DeLorean monster Happy truck. Go, and it was... Thank you, buddy. And it was licensed by... Happy go, uh, Back to the Future. Oh, okay, the Connect car. So we'll go ahead and lock him in with another one there. So this is a really cool one too. As you can see, it has all the Back to the Future tampos. I think it even says out of time on the plate. Actually, let me zoom in so we can see that. Yeah, out of time. Yep, so that is pretty cool. They even went down to that fine detail. So, really cool that they're doing some movie vehicles, too. I'd like to see the A-Team van and Knight Rider and even the Fast and Furious Supra, the Daytona. Why not stop? Just keep going and going and going with them. So, here's the Charger. It doesn't even have off-road looking tires. It just has regular like street looking tires and as i said it looks really cool because it has those grooved like racing slicks treaded front runner tires it has the blown and injected hemi the wrap around 70 front bumper Bumper. yeah the rt door scoops door yeah so really really cool looking really cool. yeah i like this one a lot whoops Oh, well, luckily we have carpeted floors, huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> then, trying to zoom in on the plate to see what the plate says on this one. Uh, nothing special, but I'm sure it's the same plate number that is on Dom's charger in the movie. So, that is a really cool piece. So, 
Let's zoom back out. And then next is going to be the tie-dye beach VW drag bus. So this is pretty cool. We got the first issue of the drag bus, but he's in the truck. We'll show you that in a minute. So let's open this up and take a look at it, Ethan. And didn't show you the back of the package of that one because we've already looked at it. It's the one that was on the series of the first one, I believe. Yeah, the taxi. So, and then, yeah, we've got kind of a, go, Daddy. All right, thank you, buddy. So we kind of got a crappy looking background back there with a bunch of stuff on the shelves. Trying to get a better filming studio, but we haven't come up with that yet because it's winter. We want to build something in our shed out back, maybe to film in. So there's your tie-dye drag bus. Pretty cool looking drag bus. And we do still have the Auto World unboxing coming up. We're going to do that video tomorrow and get it uploaded for you guys. We did get the new Boulevard Hot Wheels release too that has a red drag bus in it. So we'll be taking a look at him. So this is a pretty cool looking bus. And then, ah. yeah, last but not least, well, is another bus and Beetle set. The one that you guys seen, this two-pack in my... Walmart hunt video and I mentioned that I wish I would have bought it. Well, I got a second chance So we took advantage of that second chance and got it. It's demolition doubles versus drag bus VW drag bus versus VW Volkswagen Beetle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Then they have some other two pack here uh, that They did have I think the Donkey Kong versus like the Mario bad guy that it had the Bigfoot versus whatever the other one is here and then the shark versus the piranha thing in the middle I don't think I've seen that one they did have those new monster series with Dracula and the werewolf swamp thing Frankenstein which is really cool so let's get this opened up buddy rip that open for me I'll help you out there you go all right so, you hang on to the bus for a minute, and then I'll show these guys the Beetle first. Since we haven't looked at a Beetle yet, this is pretty cool. This is like the second or third release of the Beetle as a monster truck. So, really nicely detailed body. Nice two-tone paint with the orange or reddish-orange inserts on the black body. And trying to see what that plate says. 63 V-Dub. Pretty cool. I love the vanity plates on die cast. It's like reading them and seeing them. So, anyways, um, next one is the drag bus here. And do you like the silver and orange two-tone? Pretty nice looking. That silver or gray, charcoal gray metallic looks really good. Monster trucks. Tampo on the rear wing. Tampos for the tail lights, headlights, VW emblem. Really nicely done. Like the orange wheels. Would have looked better if they would have done some chrome beadlocks on it. But hey, still looks really good. So now Ethan actually has three drag buses. And before we get the hauler out, what I was going to show you guys, these here that I had lined up, the dragon, the monster mutt, the grave digger, and then the, I don't know, double decker, I think it's called. Yeah, double decker. It's got like two three different vehicles from the junkyard grafted together like some kind of apocalyptic vehicle from Mad Max or something but what I wanted to show you about these these were actually Monster Jam licensed and it was in a dump bin at Walmart I think you've seen that in our hunt video the first one that we launched uh, from the US when we got back and these have these really cool little willy bars on them so you can do tricks with these ones and these willy bars are actually detachable we we're going to show you that, too, that they do come off. And if you do have some of these monster trucks with a smaller axle and this kind of chassis, you can interlock the willy bars on them. So that is kind of a cool feature. And then another thing that we noticed... Let me get that back on there good. About these newer ones, though, um, that isn't, I guess I would say, not a, really a plus... It's that they have very small tires. Well, not very small, but smaller tires than the others. 
the diameter anyways. The width, I think, is pretty much the same. As you can see, the width is pretty much the same. But the diameter is a little bit smaller on those. those and these are like the BKT tires. Um, as you can see, Monster Mutt has those. The BKT white lettering. Nicely detailed wheels, though, with the beadlocks. I do like them. I think they look a little better, but I don't know. The bigger ones I kind of dig. But the wheels look more realistic on the smaller diameter. So you got smaller diameter wheels and smaller diameter tires on these releases. That's also what we wanted to show you with the 124th. That's why we brought the 124th, 5 alarm out, and the Pirate's Curse. Pirate? Yeah, so we'll show you... The Five Alarm is a newer release, and yeah, we're gonna have to move some of these, huh? So we're gonna take some of these out. Yeah. The Dragon, yeah, there you go, buddy. I'll give them to you. So, um, we'll just start eliminating them off our shelf because we gotta bring in the hauler and show that to you guys. So there's Five Alarm, and you see how big the tires are. Then you have, let me move some of these here. You have Pirate's Curse, and he has the BKT style tires, and look how much smaller they look compared to the Five Alarm tires. This is like a 2019, 2020 release, I believe. Could have even been 21. I would say 20 or 21. This is fairly new. This is like 20, late 21, early 22 release, and anyways... That is the difference. The tires on the 124s are dramatically different. Uh, so our Pirate's Curse and our Grave Digger have these smaller diameters, but the other pickup style that we have and our Avenger 57 Chevy and the 5 Alarm have these bigger diameter tires. So that's why we brought out the 124s to show you guys. Now, another scale that we have here that we wanted to show you is these little guys here. And these are actually Mattel issued. Uh, and they say monster trucks on the packages. I found them at two places here over the past couple of weeks. At Dollar Tree and also at Family Dollar. If you guys have those in your area, check them out. They're plastic body, plastic chassis, but they're dense. They're pretty heavy little guys. And they're only a buck, buck 25 each. I think is buck 25 at Dollar Tree nowadays. So that is your Roger Dodger, and there is the Roger Dodger regular release. That's why we put these guys next to each other, because it looks like father and son. <laughs> so, pretty cool. And then, they have four different ones of these that I found. They have your Bone Shaker, and then they have the Shark, which I forget his name, and then they also have this dinosaur-looking one, and I also forget his name. So, I'm not the huge Monster Jam, Monster Truck follower, but that's what you have at Dollar Tree and Family Dollar, where I found them. So, the last small scale, and then we'll bring out the hauler, is this little guy here. And this, oops, there goes one of your baby ones. This is a really small, itty-bitty one. Now, this I found in the Philippines at the SM Mall at Biguten. And these come in a bag, kind of like the Mystery Hot Wheels. And it wasn't cheap there, but I figured I would find these in the States and they would be cheaper, but I haven't found them anywhere. They're very heavy for little guys. The whole chassis is metal. The body is plastic, I believe. And then the front wheels and tires are plastic. The rear ones are rubber. I guess that's to give it grip when you launch it. It has that little key launch thing, and push the button, and he launches, and it has a little bit of force behind it, so he's pretty quick there. We'll do that one more time to show you guys, because that one was in the way, so yeah, he's pretty quick. So those are really cool. I found some knockoff ones of, like, the Avengers and things, but they are the same setup, but they're all plastic, and they don't do too bad. And they have come with the same kind of key set up. And here is one of them. I'm going to show you guys. So not quite as nice. But you get two of them for, I think it's like three bucks at Dollar General. And they are also pretty quick. So those are the little baby monster trucks. So last but not least, what we want to show you guys is the monster truck hauler. Team transporter, I guess you would call it. So, moving all that out of our way, and, well, here he is. The front of it's based on a bone shaker, as you can see here. 
monster. Yeah, it's a big truck. monster truck. <laughs> That's like a 118 scale monster truck, I would say, huh? So the front clip's based on a Not bone that. shaker. And Bye. then you have your Daddy. red, yeah, a bus, you're right. Ice cream truck? Yeah, it's like the ice cream truck. It's dairy delivery. And then there's a pickup truck. Yeah. So, anyways, Mom. what this does is the back flips down like flips so. Down. And these monster trucks are probably going to go everywhere. But we have a little lever here on the side that you push and all of these guys in the back come out. And they roll out. And there they go, falling everywhere, and they're making our dogs go crazy. So, anyways, uh, they bounce off the wall and stuff like that. So, but here's the other drag bus. We wanted to show you guys. That is the first release of the drag bus as a monster truck. I think there's one other one we don't have. So we have three of them now. We'll maybe try to locate the other one. And then there are a series of like color shifter monster trucks. And this thing will drop it down. This drops down too, like so. And they just kind of go everywhere. <laughs> so, anyways, we have these ones here I wanted to show you guys. This is the color changers. Now, these do not have such durable paint. As you can see, we've chipped them already, and it's not um, too good. It, but it's the paint's not so good. But anyways, they're nice, and they last us a while. So, uh, anyways, that's what it is, or what happens when the kids play with them. But Ethan loves these monster trucks. We haven't really tried the color changing feature, so I don't know what color they change to and stuff. But anyways, this is our monster truck lineup. This is what we wanted to show you guys and such. And it is um, something Ethan and I enjoy doing. We collect these together. But we'll get back on track with the collector die cast starting tomorrow. We will... Unbox some Auto World stuff from the, I think it's the C case of 2021. So we got those coming up next week. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Say bye, Ethan. Bye.